Hello, my name is Abby and I'm a 3D artist who loves creating cute low poly art. Today I'm going to walk you through my process of creating this low poly cute frog character who I have dubbed Cookie. Also stick around till the end for a special announcement. Here I am starting with the head. I get a cube, then I cut it in half, then I use a mirror modifier to reflect to the other side and then I add a subdivision surface modifier to it so it has the kind of roundness and here I'm just picking vertices to like get the round shape I wanted her head is very important because she's just a simple character and most of like her energy and her character design is her head so I spend a long time fiddling with it and just taking vertices in and I'm moving them around here I'm doing the eyes I had some trouble with them but I think they turned out good in the end they looked at looked like cat ears for a minute but now they're it's more frog like But I'm gonna keep messing around with the head for a while I also like to flip back and forth between flat shaded and smooth shaded just to see how it's looking and if there's any faces that look really weird and smooth shading. That's a good indicator to know if something is wrong or you have like extra vertices somewhere. Now you can see her head is really starting to take shape. And while I'm doing this, I'm looking at my sketch I have on my in my sketchbook right beside me while I model so I can get it as close to my sketch as possible. I think that's really helpful. Even if it's a doodle, it doesn't have to be anything amazing. My sketch was definitely nothing to write home about, but it was just a good guide so I can get proportions right. I feel like that's so important simple characters getting exactly all the proportions right. Here I start building out the shirt and it is I don't know why it caused me so much trouble it's just I should have just used a cylinder for this but I I think I don't even know I think I got like nervous because I realized I am recording I was just like overthinking it but I would recommend for shapes like that just to use a cylinder instead of a subdivision cube. It would have been a lot easier. But I think it, it turned out cute and nice after me fiddling around. I wanted to include this part instead of cutting it out just to show that I make mistakes when I 3D model and just because I make and make videos for YouTube. I'm not like a perfect 3D modeler or artist and mistakes are going to happen when you you model. Even if you've been modeling for years, it's going to happen. You'll make silly little mistakes and I, and I think that is okay. Here, I learned this technique from looking at old Resident Evil models since they're so low poly and I found it so interesting for I think it was the legs maybe the arms too they just did a cube and then rotated them 45 degrees so they just kind of look more round and I really like that aspect of it and that's something I definitely recommend is going online to find like 3d models of like your favorite old games especially if you want to do this low poly style and analyze how they are created their texture maps and how they're modeled it's very it's just such a good learning experience her shoes are in now i'm doing her sleeves her little booties everything's looking real cute 
She's definitely giving an Animal Crossing vibe. She's, I know, she would look, She looks a lot like Lily from Animal Crossing. But I try to change her colors a little bit, but I'm excited to, to share her with everybody. In the comments below, let me know if you want more of her. I have a couple more ideas I ha for her, like for videos. I could make, I could model her friend, Luna, who's a tuxedo cat. And I have a couple ideas for her, for her in the future, for like modeling stuff in her universe. So let me let me know what you guys think. But we're almost done with modeling, I think. Just adjusting some stuff. I tried not to spin around as much in this video. It is hard. Here I'm unwrapping. I do a pretty simple unwrap method. I select all and then I just do a smart UV unwrap or a cute projection. And then in the UV column on like the other side where the texture map is, I just select all and then I do average island scale and then I do pack islands I think. And then I make sure there's like enough space, enough pixels between the spaces, so it, there's nothing that overlaps. And that has worked fine for me. Here I am, texture painting. I don't know if you saw that I used a little bit of that pink, and that pink looked way too much like Lily. So I kind of went with this tan, or like lighter green color. And just, you know, messing around, but I, I'm using a 512 by 512 texture map and I think this is my new favorite size. It just gets that enough pixely for I really like how it looks. It almost has the MS Paint vibe and that's definitely something I like to go for. But here I am experimenting with colors. Nothing in the the color palette I chose was really fitting her boots. So I used this method where it's like light, dark, light. And since her shirt was very dark, I wanted to kind of make the boots lighter just so it balances out a little bit more. So I just made it kind of that gray blue. And then I kind of want to go back and add like a bottom rim to her boots, but they look, they're cute. I'm going to add some, um, some reflection to them in a minute, but. Here I am experimenting with an outliner on that flower, but I did not go with that, which I think it looks good. If anyone decides to make a character inspired by Cookie, I would love to see what you guys make. Just, I'm Abby Bricks on Twitter, on Instagram, and Tumblr as well, so feel free to at me and I'd love to look at your art. I'm trying a, different, a few different methods here, see what I like. But I end up with like a little shine on the corners. Not that one. That one. Oh, no, that one. Nope. That one. My commissions are open. Yes, that is the special announcement. I'm opening up six slots. And if you don't get it this time, I'll probably open them up again in about one to two months. Or as soon as I finish all of them. Also, if you want to help me along my journey, you can donate through Kofi as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. The last one I did was about low poly character modeling.